Hey Jacko, in today's video I'll show you how to make an animated rating effect in DaVinci Resolve. Now let's get digital. I'll be making the effect in the Fusion page. So to make it, open the media pool, right click, make a new Fusion composition, you can give it a name, you can change the duration. Once you have it, simply drag and put it onto the timeline and go into the Fusion page. You can make shapes using polygons, rectangle, ellipse, or an actual polygon to make a custom shape, or you can just use shapes. In this case, I have a custom toolbar, and if you want to know how to make it, I have a video on that. Otherwise, to get the shapes, go to the effects, tools, extend it, go to the shape, and we'll have all of the shape nodes right here. Why I'll be using the shapes and not the polygons is because we have the star shape right here, so we don't have to do anything. So we have the shape and we have the shape render node and we can also connect it to the media out. Now in the shape star you have points. So this is a default star, all have five points. In this case, I have to change the angle and I think it's about 18 degrees. Let's see. I think this is about right. And now you can decide how you want to make this. You can change the shape of the star, I'll just leave it to default, or maybe 0.4. And you can also decide whether you just want to show the stars or you also want to have some kind of a background. So in this case, I'll use this star to be as a background. Now I could make a couple of copies and space them evenly, but an easier way to do that is to use a duplicate node. And in this case, it's a shape duplicate because I'll connect it after the shape star node. So in this case, I want to have four copies and I'll be offsetting the X offset. So as you can see, four copies and I have five shapes in total. But what I need to do is change the width and the height. So in this case, I think I'll just put it at 0 0.25 or actually I'll just make it smaller even still and now I can adjust the X offset to be the same as the size of the star so 0 0.05 now because this will be my background in the shape star I'll go to the style and change the color to something that's a little bit more dark and you can do this afterwards when you decide on the primary color that you'll be using so maybe if I use this color, I'll have this kind of stars. Now what I'll do now is I'll simply copy the star node, right click and paste an instance of it. As you can see now it's connected. But what I want to do is to animate the width and the height. So I have to the instance the width and I have to the instance the height because that will be my animation. If I didn't the instance this, then all of the properties would animate at the same time. So in this case, if I move the X offset, I'm actually moving the original star as well and not just this one. For the time being, I'll just copy this render node so that we can see and I'll display both displays and put this one on the left side and I'll change the color to be like so. And as you can see, I also have to the instance this. I have to the instance all channels. So I have to the instance the red channel, the green, the blue, and the alpha. Like so. Otherwise, the shape star also changes the color. So we have that. Now let's say that the animation will start at frame zero. And I'll type in here equals and connect it to the height so that I only need to adjust the height value and not the width value as well. So this will be a zero, I'll keyframe it. Then I can make this pop a little bit. So at frame six, it will be maybe 0 0.08 and I'll see how that looks. And then it will go back down to 0 0.05. And I have to connect it with the merge node and this has to be in the front. If I switch the inputs, you can see that the shadow is now in the back. So the yellow input is background and the green input is foreground. So that is why 
this has to be switched so this is a little bit too big maybe 0 7 no 7 is too big because it is overlapping with this star so I'll just keep the animation like this now what you may want to do is simply use a duplicate node so I'll simply copy this one and you'll see that this does actually not work as you may want it to but if this is something that you want then this is how you can do it so basically this animation will now play instantly as you can see with all of the stars and that's probably not what you want but maybe it is and if you want to change the number of the animated stars you will simply go to this duplicate node and change the number of copies to what you want you can add the text yourself so just put the text node and put it after the shape render node type something in position the text where you want it to be also change the font so this is how that would look like but if you want to get an animation that isn't instantly for all of the stars what you actually have to do is not use this shape duplicate node so I will disconnect it and you have to use this duplicate node which is basically a 2d duplicate so you have to connect it after the shape render node and what this duplicate node has that this one doesn't is the time offset which is what we'll be using so in here I think I actually have to make five copies now in total instead of four because it behaves a little bit differently than this one and as for the offset this will be 0 0.55 now because the center position is at 0 0.5 we simply add the 0 0.05 which is the width and the height of the shape but in this case because the x offset is actually at 0 it is 0 0.05 so now back in this duplicate node the animation will now look the same as before but with the time offset we can make some changes so in total the animation lasts for 8 frames you'll simply have to play around with the settings to see what looks the best for you but usually you will have to use a negative number and let's just make some tests So minus 2 looks ok, let's see minus 4, how this one looks. This one also looks ok, minus 6. All of the animations actually look ok, but I think I'll just stick with minus 4. Now in case you didn't want to have a solid shape shadow like I have here, you would simply leave these options as instance and the changes you will make will be applied to this shadow as well and now the last thing that you can do to make the animation look cooler is to use the position and the length and we have to instance those so the instance I'm at frame 0 I can keyframe them this has to be 0 and at the end the length will go to 1 so let's see how this looks like so maybe something like this, you can also speed this up. So in this case it doesn't look the best, but you get the idea. And let's see just how it looks like if I add the position. So from 0 to 1, and let's see how this will look like. I think we have something. And what's good about the shapes, if you know or don't know, is that you can simply combine them. So I'll use these two shapes. I'll be using an S boolean as you can see now I have a unique shape by using an S boolean so if this is something that you want you can easily achieve this with shapes which you cannot do with polygons now one thing I didn't mention is with this duplicate node it doesn't have full copies as you can see this one has whole numbers but this one doesn't, this one actually has decimals so you have a bit of shadows going on if you don't use whole numbers as you can see so just use full values if you use this duplicate node 
Then once you have the composition done, and if you want to make it into a template, I have a video on how to make a macro, but quickly we'll select all of the nodes, go to the last one, right click, macro, make one, and in this case make sure that you actually select the duplicate node that will change how many stars you want to animate. So in this case it's duplicate one. So duplicate one and I would enable copies. So this is what I want to enable and you can also enable the minimum, the maximum and the default value as you can see at the top. And that's it. Did you find the video helpful? If you did, you know what to do. I'm Simon and until next time Jackals, keep it digital.